Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, we will show you how to test alternator diodes, guys, on BMW 7 Series, guys. If you have a 7 Series BMW generation, uh, pretty much any generation, but uh, E65, E66, F01, guys, uh, we will explain how to test, guys, okay, alternator diodes. You actually work on the previous generation as well. Now, doesn't matter if you have a six cylinder gasoline. V8 gasoline or diesel engines guys, the procedure is practically the same. We have an alternator out of the 7 series, we'll demonstrate on, six seri uh, on a uh, 7 series 6 cylinder engine as well guys. One of the alternators is bad, one is good and we'll explain how to guys actually know that one is good, one is bad. Now, uh, quick introduction guys to the channel, every single car we get at the shop we make at least 200 free repair videos, specifically on BMWs. We make guys more than for 500 videos. Why we do all that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can, guys. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video, guys. That's all we need. Uh, in, in addition, guys, if you need to buy any of the tools that we'll be using to test the alternator or if you need new alternator, we have the links where you can get all that in the description of the video below, guys, shared for your convenience. So please check it out. Now, this right here guys, okay, is alternator out of a V8 engine. This alternator here is on a six, six cylinder engine guys, uh, N52 engine. So, this is good, this is bad. We'll first demonstrate on the good one, then on the bad one. Now, let's explain something quick guys. Before you start, you need to disconnect your car battery, okay, number one. Now, very important how you disconnect it, which terminal first, positive or negative. If you don't know that guys, we have a video that explains all that, the correct way to disconnect it, otherwise you can cause quite a bit of damage to the electrical system modules and burn electrical components. Uh, we'll try to share the link in the description of the video below guys, please check it out. Once you do all that, you will need to find your positive 12 volt charging wire, that's a big cable that connects to the alternator, usually guys connects, okay, uh, with one nut, 13 millimeter, disconnect it, okay, like that, that's why the car battery needs to be disconnected because if you touch that wire otherwise and the car battery is connected to the casing or somewhere else you can cause quite a bit of damage and even catch your car on fire then guys what we'll be using we'll be using voltmeter nothing sponsored here guys but this is amazing amazing too now we've been using it for a long time we click to go to diode setting right there click twice to select diodes okay and we'll be testing it now First, this is, okay, for that alternator, this is a 12 volt charging wire. This is the casing that we will use as ground. Scratch it a little bit, give it a good scratch, okay. Red lead on the charging wire, black lead on the casing. Nothing, guys, nothing at all. Now, let's reverse them. Black lead on the charging wire, red lead on the casing. What do we get? Okay, we get 560, okay reading between 5 and 800 this is excellent guys and if you reverse them one more time we should get nothing that's how it should be okay this is one good alternator now if we go to the one that's not good okay check it out we'll put the black lead on the charging wire red lead on the casing and we should get okay between 5 and 800 and we do that's great but now let's reverse them and see what you're gonna get okay what are you getting Check it out now, we get a reading and we shouldn't guys, okay, but we do. So definitely we have a problem right there guys, with that alternator. The diodes are bad and it will need to be replaced. So we get the idea, hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out. Thank you for watching guys, please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time.